All right. Who the fuck is Sue Whoop? Who is Sue Whoop? Good question. Heads of council on the server. Just got promoted to that a couple days ago in IRL. I'm a senior in high school. Then I'll go swim in college next year. Pretty much what my life is based around as of now. Heck yeah. So how long have you been swimming? Uh, since I was six. So Holy what, shit. 12, 13 years now. Where are you from? What, uh, what state? Uh, North Carolina. Like okay. Right here. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, cool. Well, before we go any further, I'm going to tell everyone what we're doing. So maybe you could tell with the setting, but we are going to go fishing. Um, we're going to – this maybe will help you come up with some ideas um, for the Civ Council sheet on, uh, on fishing. Maybe you come <laughs> up with some buffs or maybe nerfs. You know, who knows? Maybe this is way too overpowered. We make shitloads of money and we need to nerf it. So I'm going to think we're going to need to increase the market price by six times. So before we get into any questions that I've mostly custom tailored for you – we're going to do a quick question section, which pretty much everybody that comes on is going to answer. Basically, all of them are a yes or no, or a this or that. Um, pineapple on pizza? No. Okay. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. He feels strongly Unacceptable. about that one. I love pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Hot dog or hamburger? Hamburger. Okay. Tits or ass? Ass. What car do you drive? Uh, 2006 Mercedes E Class. <laughs> Mercedes Benz. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I see. Like, like five grand tops. Ifrit Hunter or Strider. Uh, Ifrit. Quillen or Prowler. Quillen. Armed Quillen or armed Prowler. Armed Prowler. Clout. More okay. Clout. True, true. As some more drip because it's a Blackwater only item. MK1 or MK18? Mark 1. OG or Church? Uh, Church. War points or money? Money. Um, BWs or Fets on Civ? Right now or overall? Because. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it sounds like if you, if you feel like you have to expand on it, you can. Like right now, definitely BWs because you know you're just like you're just sitting there slapping cops around like rabid. Like come here. <laughs> so even when you have like 20 people and they pull armor and you just get like three Mark One staring at it, like yeah, true. Different. Overall, I prefer fighting the Fed. Like they play all more. You enjoy fighting the Fed on Civ? Yeah, if they were like balanced. Right, but they're not. That's what you're. Yeah. Okay. What about on cop? On cop. Mm-hmm. Old Blackwater, just because it was, I guess, easier. You think it's yeah. easier to push Blackwater than Fed as a cop? No, not now. The okay. walls were breakable. It was easier to push Blackwater. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like pushing a playground. You come in from any angle. There's no, there's no like <laughs> fence around it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then you get the hunters with it, man. You start slamming towers. So oh. much better. No choke point. We need to balance it. We need to find some middle ground there. But okay, two more. PDW or Protector? PDW. Okay. Um, APD or R&R? &R? Uh, APD. Okay, fair enough. All right, six. So that was your quick question section. And now we're going to get into everything else, really. Um, I guess first we'll start with the most like basic question is, how did you get into Arma 3? Not even just Olympus, but how did you start playing this, this game? Arma 3. All right, so if any of you know... A man by the name of Jamal, like VX Jamal, um, uh, Turtle Dealers. So I started playing Arma on Exile. So we played Exile in like 2014 for like a couple months. We used to RDM on Asylum. We used to mass <laughs> on Asylum. And, and we used to like fuck around on Olympus a bit. And then my friend started playing Arma like super seriously. I stayed with it and he kind of like fades in and out. So, what was something about Olympus that just drew you to it in a sense that you you know you wanted to stay here for a while? I don't know what it initially drew me. I was just in search of a new game. I right. I'd been playing Rust for like months on end. I was playing with this huge clan, been through it all. Mm -hmm. and I was pretty much gone, and everyone else was done as well. So we kind of just fell out there. We started pl playing around with other games, and then we we played Arma one night with all of us. We were a bunch of like monkeys in a jungle gym. <laughs> Swinging around, doing random stuff, rook banging kids, <laughs> and then I then I just stuck with it. And then I got a question for you. 
I first met you in Noble. It's not like you were like there for super, super long, but in the little experience you have, what were some of the most memorable things about Noble that you liked? And then also want to know what are some of the biggest things that you disliked? Some of the biggest things I liked, kind of just like community. There are guys I could talk to, just chill with. Right. And I really like organized gang. Really good for like starting out. You're the one that pretty much got me like down to join Noble. I was like, you know what? Boom Taj looks pretty cool. He's like a group of guys. Yeah. We get in and we're gonna see what it's about. Appreciate that. I heard someone say they said, um, it's a quote in our Discord. They said, um, Noah's boom tages are like ISIS recruitment videos. I, I had to join Noble right away. <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, just me blowing up on the shit and it's like let's join noble <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what's fun yeah, that's, that's it, what I want to be it's doing. expensive dude I'd fly over noble gang shit I hear I would literally dude for hours I was kind of playing solo at the time just kind of got like ground stomped by everyone because I was solo mm -hmm. only high can get epied or anything. I was playing with mobs before, and then they all left. Flash got firmed. Yeah. Yeah. So I was on my own, and then why I left eventually, I started getting big into cop. I met like more people. I met Rexo. Became good friends with him. He was like, you know what? I've really been start like thinking about starting this game called Mandalorian. And I was like, yo, let's run it. Let's start it. Let's get this game running. Started that. And then I guess it grew to what it was. How was Mandalorians? It was interesting. I ended up getting the, the boot for messing around in Discord a little bit. Really? What kind of messing around? Uh, so, as many people know, Mahatma Gandhi is a little, a little <laughs> mentally... He takes, it takes a lot to, for him to understand things. So, my friend, like, fake removed him for getting the gang shed raided. And then he went and told everyone the gang shed was getting raided. So everyone like mass log because there was like tons of stuff in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I tried to like cover my ass up, which obviously didn't go well. I've rode these things for real because I live in Florida. Have you? Have you? Oh, uh, I've never driven one really. I've been backseat of them. I've gone 80 miles per hour on one of these things. You're crackhead. Dude, they're fucking, they can go really fast. They're, like, insane in IRL, not gonna lie. Must have been a really flat day on the water. Yeah, it was still pretty rough going that fast, though. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy, dude. It's, it's so fast. I hope you all have a great day. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do you, do you suck toes? I have before. You have. <laughs> Uh, a female's toes? Yes. Does she want you to? I mean... Where did you just do it? I don't know if she wanted me to, but she let me. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me how you got into Civ Council. Civ Council, I saw it, I was like, huh, that's interesting. And then, honestly, I probably, with the application I put in, kind of questionable, low-key. But this is this was way back when, so I don't know how like times changed. But my application was not superb in any way, and I guess they just took me because I applied for runs. Runs were in the dumpster, and they knew I I knew that. I mean, you have access to your old application, I'm sure. Would you pull it up and read it? I'll pull it up for the video. Would you read it? Oh, 100 percent. Hell I yeah. probably didn't use like any proper English or anything. <laughs> uh, you have to read it exactly like it reads. You can't like add punctuation or anything. You can't like add spelling. You have to read it exactly how it is, all right? So here's my thing, my application. I said, I feel that runs are being devalued and not enough people are doing them. I feel that the change with the amount of cops being on affecting the process was a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done. It is rare nowadays to find someone doing a run because nobody wants to do them. The risk and reward scale is not not balance, which I think should be changed. Uh, not only would this allow for a better experience for the people doing runs, but allow for more opportunities for engagement rather than feds, scats, and cartel fighting. I really want to make the server have more to do, and I believe I could put forth some good ideas for runs. 
It's not bad. I'm I'm... Very, very old application. I'm kind of surprised I got in because this is like, this is prime GD council. Right, when I first started the player, the server, like I beefed with PV. I like me and Madge, like I tried to get Ma- Madge banned a bunch, and he ended up getting me banned more. Like he he did the fail three to one method on me on cop, where you just go up and you say hands up or die, and like it's a three to one, but like not a lot of people know that it's a three to one, so they got me on that. Imagine yeah. getting fucked by Majestic that way. That must feel bad, dude. Dude, he's a, he's a smart guy. We started off at a Mies. Probably, probably mostly one way. I was probably just hating on him, and he was just like, who is this kid? Like, some randy new to the server, like, trying to mess with me, like, flicking a fly. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he, like, invited me into DD Team Speak eventually and all that. He's like, yeah, you can come play with us whenever you want, really. Like, I can't, because, like, I'm, I originally wanted to join DB, and he's like, look, we have too many DB in council, you can't join us. You can play with us when you want. Time went on, talked to him a lot. One day, he was sitting in the Civ Council room. I joined, I go, what's up? He's doing, like, senior stuff, and, like, all of his head Civ Council stuff. I was like, just give me a shot at senior, and I'll put it in work. Because, like, I'll admit it, I wasn't the best, like, council member as an original council. Like, I had a lot going on in, like, swim. Mm-hmm. And I know, like, IRL can get in the way. So I had, like, a lot of meat which are, like, all the way through the weekend, so I can show up to meetings mm-hmm. and stuff. So I missed out on a lot of meetings. I was like, yeah, just give me a shot at Senior Civ Council. I'll prove myself. And kind of, like, I, I don't know, I looked up to him in some sort of way and kind of, like, appreciated him for who he was. Yeah. I, I always, like, my work, I always try to keep up, like, check check sheets once a week and just, like, give everyone their inactivity warnings take some of the pressure off him because yeah. I, I knew he was, he was going through he was like he was ready to 07 he was like as soon as i can get this civ council stuff off my hands like i'm out i talked to him the day he 07 i was kind of in there and then he told me uh he told me to remove blood moon in a pm and i was like yeah he told me he wants to step down and he's like all right remove him and i was like wait i can't remove people he says spoiler he will be able to see it. And he passed it down to me. No fucking way, dude. Pretty sick. That's a sick way to get promoted. I was scared shitless that morning. I So I log into TS, right? I got C, senior APD tags on my team speak. I go on the forums. Zazie messaged me, Ori, I need to talk to you in uh, TS. So I'm like, <laughs> did I get permed or something? And I check my band status. I'm unpermed. And yeah. I feel I like... My APD stuff, some kid tried to, like, report me for killing him in restraints and not pardoning him when he was innocent. So I'm like, I was like, whatever. I, I was like, he, I was, he was innocent. And they go like, oh. And I go talk to Madge and all that happens. He was like, yeah, Zazie really wanted me to make an 07 post, so I didn't. <laughs> Just to, like, straight up. I was like, oh, wow. What are some memorable moments on the council? Any drama or something? I, just, I really don't remember any, but do you? Staff meetings are kind of like, if you're sitting there watching, like, they're, they're low-key, like, funny. Seeing some people go at it, at each other's necks sometimes, and they get, like, like way too, like, involved with it and just get, like, past the point of arguing the point. And sometimes yeah. it's just funny just to, like, observe it. Yeah, it's definitely, like, politics. Basically, Olympic politics, like, nerf APD. Should we uh, buff civs? Should they have, like, better gear than us if they're super high in APD? It's all, like, everyone has their own opinions on different things. Some, like, corporals and civ council sometimes who are, like, pretty moderate with it. Like, they see both sides of the spectrum. How do you feel when people are like, oh, you have some big shoes to fill, blah, blah, blah. You have to, like, live up to this, blah, blah, blah. How does that, like, make you feel when people, like, compare you to what Majestic did? motivates me i gotta prove them wrong i can't doubt doubting me and just let them doubt and let their doubt be true you gotta go out and put in the work and do your work what are some of like the biggest changes you have like scheduled or that you want to make for the civ council definitely just make people more active definitely the seniors i want seniors to have like it's their council that they're running i'm just managing all of the councils 
Like they should have a pretty big say in who's in their council, what they do with their council. I obviously want them to like manage it, keep control of it. I don't want to be babysitting and activity warnings for them. They should pretty much be doing that by themselves. Eventually, I want them to be doing like applications as well. Like sometimes there are some civ council members that just like never argue their points on the roundtable yep. discussions, which is kind of disappointing. It's like the biggest mm -hmm. part is kind of like trying to get your point across to others who don't maybe understand it as well as you. How helpful was Zazie um, in getting you ready for council? I mean, he was head. Zazie's basically teaching me everything. He gave me a Steam and Discord. He's like, message me whenever you need me. I can just pop in real quick, help you out. I probably messaged him at least like five times so far in like three days. Like, yo, sheets are broken somehow. Like someone messed up the sheets or like, I don't, I didn't know how like it worked exactly. I kind of like tr tried to figure it out on my own, but if I couldn't figure something out, I'd go to him and be like, yo, how does this work? So what are some of the perks to becoming the heads of council? over senior civ council i guess just access really i have access to admin cp obviously but i didn't have that as a senior but seniors have it now i'm the only one that replies to applications on admin cp as well as trello i have access to the trello now to just like check in on like see the civ council ideas what's what's a um a, the most common reason people get removed from the council an activity either that or they just retire because they don't like really have time for it yeah. i think in my entire time here like three people yeah two, two or three we got monks swervy uh venom and pure pk you're getting you're smashed i am the I'm title of the video suwu literated in fishing competition <laughs> What would you do if you were server owner for a week? If I was server owner, probably just sell out, you know, try and make as money, as much money bringing in ideas as possible. <laughs> so you'd be a sellout server owner? These game skins, they'd be, they'd be getting pumped out. I'd be like, design, <laughs> we're on quarantine, it's go time, come on. Do you think that betting should be removed from the server? I don't think it should be removed. Removing it's too much because there's too many people that bet for like enjoyment on the server. Like Jaren, Jaren is a heavy better. Lives and dies on the bets. He loses it all. Yeah, he'll start playing the game actually, you know, doing runs and stuff. It's crazy, <laughs> but he'll get up and he'll keep in. We need something to like trickle down the low. I don't know how we could implement that in the server. And um, did you get a, a message from Ivy for BW? No. Oh, I'm special. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sam. Yeah. She messes me personally. I'm just kidding. Big time, Sam. This is your chance to ask me any question you want, and I will answer completely truthfully. Ooh. Uh, most hated member on the in the community. Uh, who I dislike the most. Um, I don't I don't really hold beef, but the person I dislike the most in the community that I talked to, and he was also in my gang. What is um is um sad man or some people know him as Anthony. Honestly, it wasn't that bad playing with him, but he was just such a fucking troll and he made people want to quit Noble. I don't like that. I don't really hate him. I just don't like him that much. <laughs> you know, you get to plug or promote something um, or shout somebody out of your choice. Um, whatever you want. Skin faders on top. Always will be on top. Come get a fade. <laughs> Anytime, any day. <laughs> All right, awesome. Ivy messaged me. Oh, <laughs> we gotta put that in the video. <laughs> Just that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going in the video at the end. <laughs> that is gonna be a simp.